Hey, y'all, and thank y'all for tuning in. Now, if this is your first time, welcome. Now, if you've been here before, welcome back. Y'all, I am truly excited. Can't you tell by the sound in my voice? Y'all, that's because we are going over the Quesadilla Lover's Ultimate Quesadilla Recipe. And on this channel, the food is always the star. Y'all ready to get going? All right, I paid $15.61 for this Angus prime choice beef ribeye steak shaved extra thin, y'all. And now, I'm going to work it. And what am I working it on? I said it. Y'all, this is going to be the ultimate quesadilla recipe. It sure is. Now, have you ever had ribeye steak inside a quesadilla before? Yes, I've had all other cuts. Ground beef. Now, you know, I've had flat iron. I've had a little bit of a tri-tip minced up. I've had this and I've had that. But to have ribeye steak in your quesadilla, the same type of meat they use in a Philly cheese steak. This is why they use it in a Philly cheese steak. I mean, it's so tasty, y'all. And working with it is not what you think. I know ribeye steak is fatty, but this is why you get it shaved extra thin and then you cook it up right. Now we're going through the seasoning process, y'all. So make sure you get whatever seasonings you want to use. Now, if you don't know, right there, I am using Goya seasoning. I am using also a fajita blend seasoning. I am also going to squeeze in some lemon juice, some fresh squeezed lemon juice in this process too, y'all. I have some cilantro in there too as well. Paprika, cumin as well is going to go in here, y'all. We're going to mix it and match it. What you just saw put in there was a little bit of Kinder's buttery steakhouse season because ribeye is a steak. And I said, why not put some of that in there too as well, y'all? All right. So I have this cast iron working already. So it's on high heat. Soon as I dropped it in, we got the sizzle in the pan, y'all. And that's what we want because this meat is shaved extra thin. So we have to be cautious on how we cook it. So now, believe it or not, the heat's off, y'all. I done cut the heat off, all right? So now we're mixing up the ribeye steak, y'all. We're making sure it's getting cooked all the way through thorough for these quesadillas. But again, the heat is off. That is very imperative that you cut that heat off because keep in mind, it's going to continue the cooking process even though the heat is off. So if we do it this way, we tend to not overcook our protein, or whatever product we're cooking, including vegetables. This is a common practice that we use in restaurants or in the kitchens, whether you're a private chef or you are a commercial chef, like I have been in the past. This here is the same cast iron, y'all, with that jus from that ribeye steak and that butter. Mm, take a look at that, y'all. That thin shaved ribeye. I mean, I shouldn't do fajitas with this ribeye. That would be a video for the future, y'all. We're going to do some ribeye steak fajitas. Mm-hmm. Now, here we go. Same cast iron skillet, but any skillet would do, y'all. It don't matter if you got a cast iron or not, y'all. I just so happen to work with them because I love to have the extra nutrients that the cast iron produces. So I have fajita mix in there, essentially, y'all. I have the bell peppers and I have the onions in there. And we're going to add some seasonings in there too. Add whatever flavor agents you want. If you want to double down on the same seasonings you put inside of your meat, you can do that too as well. So I added a little bit of garlic powder inside of here. I added some Tony Saturies inside of here as well. And I also added a little bit of onion powder, some cilantro in there too as well, some lemon juice too as well. Y'all, we're going to cook it down and this is what we came out with. This is also high heat, then I cut it down on low. But I left it on high heat for about two to three minutes during the cooking process, y'all. Take a look at that Cheeto cheese mix, y'all. That's Cheeto dust cheese mix. Mm, mm, mm. Yes. So I took the Cheetos and I put them in my Ninja blender and we made Cheeto dust. And I incorporated it inside of the cheese. Take a look at that cheese. Now, isn't that colorful? Cheese is already colorful. But to add that flaming Hot Cheeto, ooh-wee, 
Look at that cheese, y'all. We are moving. We are getting somewhere. Mm -hmm. So now look at those veggies, too, as well, y'all. Those bell peppers, those onions sauteed up nice and right. And now it's looking like it's about ready to drop and incorporate that ribeye steak, y'all. We're going to put it on one side, y'all, because we want it to be able to fold on top of each other. All right, because if we spread that meat all the way out, it won't fold the proper way. All right, so we want the meat on one side, and we're going to let this cook three to five minutes. Now, once we get to this phase right here, we're about ready to flip. The cheese is melting through, so let's go ahead and flip it, y'all. Right now, we fold and we flip, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, before we do all of that, let's add a touch of butter, too, as well. Because we want that little sheen on it. We want it to be crispy. And it is crispy. It has that nice crisp on it without the butter. But we want that sheen. So we're going to flip it back over, too, eventually, to let that butter get a little bit of a sizzle on that side, too. All right? So we're going to do the same thing for both quesadillas. And that's what it's all about. Y'all having fun when you're cooking and enjoying the process. It's all about that. That's why I post what I post, y'all, because I love to cook and I do it daily. Daily, 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 y'all. Do y'all have a favorite song? Do y'all cook to any music? Well, I must admit, I cook to all types of music. And one of the one of the musics I cook to, uh, I guess I'll tell you, I love to cook to classical music. Oh, man. Believe it or not, when I'm listening to that classical music, I am in a zone. The knife gets going. I mean, I am in a zone. The, all the sounds of the kitchen is like an opera. So, hey, that's what it's all about, y'all. So what type of music do you like to listen to when you cook? Let me know. So now we're at the point to where we're cutting up the quesadillas. We're looking real good here, y'all. So now we're going to plate these quesadillas, y'all. We're going to make sure that we plate these quesadillas up. Now... Also, during this process, try to make sure you have everything else aligned and ready to go. So when it comes time to plate, you can plate. And you see what I'm doing. I am taking these quesadillas and I am making these quesadillas some flaming hot Cheeto style quesadillas. That is flaming hot Cheeto dust on top of those quesadillas. That makes it the ultimate quesadilla recipe, y'all. Have you ever seen quesadillas? With ribeye steak and Cheeto cheese dust and sprinkled with Cheeto dust on top. I mean, this is phenomenal. You should try this out for yourself, family, friends, and all, y'all. It's worth it. It is worth it. If y'all want to see us make something, drop a comment so we can add it to the playlist. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see y'all on the next side. Thank you for your time.